Yeah, so I got to pay the yearly tax for the register for the non-registered vehicle. Uh, that one comes to close to forty dollars, actually thirty-eight, thirty-five. And as I'm trying to do this <coughs> information, uh, this is the data that I obtained on uh, letter written to me. Uh, I should comply with and basically deposit money to this account, to this receiving end, if you like. And what makes it interesting about the whole thing is that when you enter the bill right here, the numbers and everything into the search box from the Google, let me just see something. You don't get absolutely any information anywhere about it. The only information that's accessible is this one here. And this information is actually not accessible at all. That's amazing because the website belongs to the Slovenian government. It was, again, Robert Golop, who played a major role, the main role about my paying a future tax uh, for a vehicle. So I assume that this is the same, of course, without the job and so on during MK Ultra. So just is important to note, Robert Golop is this individual here. This is a Slovenian prime minister. He was the one who tutored me actually how to pay, where to pay, uh, search for a way to pay this through the internet in front of me, inside of this room actually. And finally concluded that the stuff can be paid through, uh, through the personal banking account uh, to avoid fees and so I see that he also made sure that I could not verify information I had here on my own with uh, information that should be otherwise available to me through this website right here the only thing you get is it automatically downloads this here that you see it's called the Racioni like this. This is the third time when you click on this link, nothing happens. But what also makes it interesting is you don't get access to the page, which would be cache page. It looks exactly like this. You have no access to it. There is no such thing anywhere as a cache page so that you could go and see it. And I know that this is from the Slovenian government. This shit is done deliberately. Uh, it's coordinated together with the Google. Uh, no, this is not the Wikipedia. This is a source. This shit is from portal.govse, which is a Slovenian government portal. Just like this. I got to move back and forth here. Otherwise, they're going to disconnect me from a session. So this individual here became a prime minister, uh, you know, to bizarre, bizarre stuff, man. Simply bizarre stuff. Let's go and I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to search this one more time. And when I look at it, it's already like one to the third one that appears here. And when you are trying to log yourself inside of this account, there is like no fucking way that you can log yourself in. It says right here, XLS. Why the fuck is this? Why would you use this in a format of XLS? And why would you not allow this for people to have a cached page, basically, so they could access the data? Is This is really interesting. Look at it. I'm going to open the folder. It looks like this. And then when you try to open it, you don't have any access to what you could open this stuff with. You have to make sure that you somehow find a way to open through Excel, uh, XSL, whatever fuck that is. It is the same thing because this is exactly what Robert Golob was talking to me about. 
or you will not see the fucking document and have a capacity to verify your information with information. So this is for the old people, for the people with disabilities, for the people with a poor eye vision, definitely not a you know friendly website, Slovenian website when it comes to paying tax for vehicles that I already have. Um, make sure that I would unregister one, otherwise it would be $150, $160 I would have to pay. So this is definitely not for the vehicle that you cannot even drive, basically, so that it sits inside of the garage. Not a friendly website for people with disabilities. Uh, not a friendly website for the people that have problems with uh, computers that are not computer literate enough to know about these issues, which I know all the older people are like this. Uh, nasty shit. Deliberately done like this. Welcome to Slovenia. Oh, he has a doctoral degree. This is a this is an engineer. This is with a doctoral degree. He's got a doctor, actually not engineer, but he is a doctor. Uh, Mr. Golop is a doctor. He's got a doctoral degree. Uh, Einstein. Simply a talent, a brilliant. Milan Kuchan is apprentice. Borut Pahor is schoolmate. It kind of makes it actually kind of funny because this dude is actually 57 and I actually have to think about that stuff. And this talent here is a 60 years old. But obviously, there's like a considerable difference in age between the two talents of Milan Kurt. So that's how we do here in Slovenia this stuff. Oh, I will try to be literate. We'll follow his instructions. It's just basically to break balls, basically. That's all there is to it. We're gonna take this one here with the two stars so that we can we can please his royal majesty Robert Golop, Milan Kuch, Milan Kuchko and Robert Golop basically and Borat Pahor. So we're gonna prove that we are not insane. So this is the proof. So So it seems to me that this garbage is deliberately done like this, that it would rape you basically for you to go to the telephone and use a telephone basically to have access to this here. I never use this junk. So it already disturbs me that I'm raped to use something that I never use really. So now we're going to download junk again. And this is how it goes. This is how you get the junk on the computer, viruses. And... In this case, it seems like I don't even have to do that, which is like, wow. I almost like, why the fuck is that? That's not just.
Uh, so they give you the whole, they, they stress the whole shit here. Uh, they, they, they stress you uh, some great number of garbage, basically, that is completely also non-related to the stuff that I need right now. And so, uh, truly, truly a junk, basically. Look at that. What the fuck you do? This is how you do this stuff, really? I mean, are you fucking serious? This is how you do this stuff? This is a govern GOV, this here? you That's all the fuck you do? That's what the taxpayer do for you, motherfuckers? So you can do this here? That's not bad. These jobs are fucking good. The less you do, the better you're paid. The more damage you cause, the better you're paid, basically. Because these people don't do nothing other than steal and kill, murder, basically. That's what they get paid. They get paid to murder people. They get paid to keep you unemployed forcefully, throw you into psychiatry, kill you, basically, torture you. That's what they got paid for, from, to my knowledge. This is what they get paid for. So this is junk. This is the only thing we have. And the truth is, there is nothing. There's no fucking information anywhere. Look at it. Not even this. Oh, try to get, uh, try to pull this uh, information here. To see if, there you go. And that's all there is. Look, look how cheap this shit is here. That's all you get from the information about the uh, cars that are not in a, you know, that, that you already signed off, that, that you are not going to be using in a, on a road. That's what you get. You get this here. There you go. For this, this here, this is what they collect 40, 40 euros in Europe. This is the way it goes. For this, for this shit like this, like that. That's it. Give me 40 euros. Come on. There you go. Not even so that you would access the information online where the money needs to be deposited. Huh? And do you know from whom we learned this stuff? It was a British king, Charles, who insisted and demanded to be done this way. So that I would absolutely not have access. Absolutely any fucking access, the ability to verify this issue. It was in my name that British covered up for the Slovenian side because I had no doubt there must be a place in Britain they talk about some county or something at least or whatever it was. It's like done like in a similar vagabondish criminal way like this. Where the fuck is this in Britain? I would say that you have a reason to protest in front of Buckingham Palace and kick your councillors, people that care about this, are in charge for this type of tax for collection. Kick them out of fucking ass. With 15 million people in Britain alone, or 40 million people in the United States on a poverty line, don't you think you deserve to have the fucking data written on your website about basic stuff like this, about collection, tax collection, something that car sits in the garage, collect 40 euros here in Slovenia. I don't know how much this is different in the US or elsewhere, but don't you think you have the right to information? Don't you think, don't you think you're legible for like a decent information, piece of information that you can use online? What the fuck is the cost of the government to provide you with information so you can verify that information that you type is correctly typed? Because if it's not correctly typed and you only have 30 days to pay for this, you may end up paying extra interest on it. With so many people unemployed, why don't you fucking throw them out on the street too?
I would say to you something about Buckingham Palace, but that would be incitement and hatred. And said so to get till this, I get these people on the court and lynch them on the court or through the court. I will not say anything. It's a systematic procedure that I use. But this is this is organized crime. Don't look into Nigerian scam. Don't look into the scams in or from what it appears to be from other parts of the world. The center of the garbage organized crime is located in London, in greater than Great Britain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it down also here, date and time. I am not going to say anything. United Kingdom. Is the United Kingdom? Is the United States of America? You know him? He's still alive. Look. You see him? Despite being long, long, long gone, he's still alive. See it? See them under every bridge, or you don't see them under every fucking bridge? In forests. Say it. There's some UK. Is this United Kingdom? Are you in a kingdom now? English? They're going to give you... They're going to give you a warm handout. They're going to give you a food if you go in front of the Buckingham Palace. The door, the big gate is going to open. They're going to give you warm meals if you go there. I understand. Every day they give them. And the clothing they're going to give you and everything else. And so, what difference does it make with him or without him in this world? What's the difference? What exactly? How much? How much is it? For better, and how much is it for worse? It's too hard, right? It's too hard to write the fucking. It's too. What is it? Too difficult to type the information for the people to have access? Are you actually afraid to be held accountable for it? As a government agency. Or is it taking too much precious time for coffee otherwise? That you refuse to do your work because it's a part of your fucking job. Four euros for the car to sit inside of the garage. And you don't have a fucking time for other than fucking lights and violence. It's too expensive to you. To write down where the money needs to be sent, deposited, 